All right, this is my multimeter. It can measure a number of things. It can measure resistance, current, voltage. Uh, for this lesson, we're going to be measuring resistance. So the first thing is to make sure your cables are in the right spot. Typically, you want the uh, black wire in COM. You always need to have one in here, no matter what. Typically, we'll put the black one in there. We're measuring resistance today, which is in ohms. So we see this V ohm milliamps. The other one has to go in the middle because that's going to measure ohms. If you put it in the top one, it will not work. So first, make sure your cables are placed properly. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your resistor and you're going to hook up. Um, well, I'm going to do this ahead of time. You will probably not do it until you're ready to measure. I have clips for the purposes of measuring. I'm going to hook up my clips to my resistor um, just so I can measure it. So take my resistor, take one clip, I'll clip it on one end. I'll clip the other one. Anyway, so now it's it's covering like this. Again, you may not have clips, you might just have to hold it down, but I just want to kind of show you how this works. So then I go to my meter. Now this is a according to my measurements earlier, I believe this is a hundred thousand ohms. So I want to actually confirm that that's correct. So I look at my meter and I'm gonna turn it on to the resistance area, which is down here on the bottom left. And just to show you a point, I'll start at 200 you'll notice the meter says 1. That means that this resistor is over 200 ohms, which is what we expected. We thought it was 100,000. So now I'm going to turn it to 2,000, and as expected, it should still say 1. It's over 2,000. 20K, it's over 20,000. But when I turn it to 200,000, now I'm getting a reading. And you notice the reading says 98.9. You might say, well, wait a minute, this was supposed to be 100,000. I'm getting a reading of 98.9. Well, because this is on a setting with a K in front of it, whatever I get on the meter, I have to multiply that by 1,000 or move the decimal place three spots. So when I get 98.9 on my meter, I'm going to move my decimal point three spots to the right, and that's going to be 98,900 which is pretty close to 100,000. I think I did this properly. So the meter acts kind of as a, as a way for you to see if you measured properly. If it's not close, you probably read the color wrong or you're doing something else incorrect. So that's one resistor. Now let's go to another resistor. We thought the second resistor was 1,000 ohms that we measured yesterday. Um, so this one right here I thought was 1,000, so I'm going to hook that up and see if I'm right. So I'm going to take my clips. I'm just going to hook up that resistor. Okay. So there it's hooked up, and again, you won't probably have clips, but that's okay. So once again, I'm going to start, just to prove a point, if I start at 200, it says it's overloaded. I'll turn it to 2,000, and notice it's coming up as 994. So I thought it was 1,000, it says 994. I'm really close, um, so that seems to be proper. Now, you always want to go to the lowest setting possible because that's the most accurate. Like, I could set it to 20,000 if I wanted, and that would be possible. So I'll do that. And notice when I set it to 20,000, look what's coming up. It's coming up as 1 because the K, anytime I have a K in my meter, whatever it comes up on the meter, I have to multiply by 1,000. So when 1 came up, I have to multiply that by, that by 1,000, and so this is measuring 1,000. And if I keep turning it up, it'll still say 1, but it actually gets a little less accurate. You see, I have fewer decimal points. It's not nearly as precise. So even on 200,000, I still get the reading, but it's, it's not nearly as precise. So that's the trick. All right, now to my third resistor, which uh, we did yesterday, and we thought that that was 10 million. So I'm going to plug that in. One second. Hooking that up. It doesn't matter if which one I make positive or negative. Um, I can hook up either side. But there they are. Okay, so I am on 200,000, which if you figure out, excuse me, 2,000K, which is actually 2 million, and it's coming up as a 1. Because I thought this was 10 million, this meter is just not going to be capable of measuring this one. It can only go up to 2 million. So that will happen sometimes, and there's nothing we can really do about it except get a better meter. But that is how you measure resistance using the multimeter. So again, Make sure you're in this resistance area. Pay attention to the arrow. I've had students forget and turn this completely the opposite way. The arrow has to point at what you're looking for. Make sure the plugs are in the right spot. And make sure you have a firm connection with your resistor. I have the clips here to make it a firmer connection. Normally, you'll have just sort of these needles you have to push down firmly on the metal. 
Um, but that's the trick, and that's how we measure resistance. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.